Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to VRAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add aliases to your Google Workspace account. All right, and what I mean by that is when you press Compose, um, you can see this from has a drop down, right? And when I press it, you can see all these different emails over here. So I can send an email as either one of these accounts and I can also receive emails to either one of these accounts. The, th the only thing about aliases is it's technically only one inbox. So if anyone sends an email to um, the first one, I will all I'll see it in this inbox or the second one. Basically all of the emails will be um, the in this is one inbox to it. Okay. Um, you know, I've, this is really good to use if uh, um, you know, you're starting off small, you don't want to pay for different email accounts, right? Because normally for every email, you would have to pay um, a fee from, uh, you know, whatever it is, $6 or $12, right? Um, you would pay that, pay that fee for every email or a separate inbox, I should say. So aliases come in handy when you want to have a bunch of emails, but don't really want to pay that much, especially if you're starting off where you probably won't be getting a lot of emails in all of these inboxes. So it's um, it, it doesn't really um, hurt to just keep it all in one e inbox. So that being said, um, how do I do this? So first, what you want to do is go to your admin console. Okay, so this is mine. If you don't have access to it, you do want to talk to someone that does have access to it. So you can see mine. I only have one user in this, which is me, right? And now let's click into the user and you guys can see over here on the left hand side it says add alternate emails you want to click that and here is where you would add them so you can add whatever you want right um, and then press save so that would create the alias but it still won't show up in the drop down all right so Let's go to here, and in order for you to make it show up in the drop down, you want to go to settings, see all settings, and you want to go to accounts. All right, so now here are my email, well, the different accounts that um, I have set up, and you want to do press add another email address. So here you want to put whatever name you would want to show up. So let's say if I created a new email that was called um, John all right so the name would be John John Smith whatever you want it to name and the email address whatever alias that I created there um, I would enter that here and you know keep this checked treat as an alias and press next step and well I don't have anything there but basically it, it would just confirm it you know if you do enter something that's that you haven't created an alias for it will ask you to verify that email is yours but you know you won't be able to verify it because technically it doesn't exist so you want to make sure you do the first step first before doing this all right and next step and so called and then now when you go to compose you should see your new one over here as well and you know, obviously to send email, just click whatever one you want to click and, you know, just it'll send it as that. So it's pretty easy to do, you know, really simple. So this only works on Google Workspace account, so you can't do it with your regular Gmail account, right? Um, so just keep that in mind. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, you know, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, other than that, peace out.